That's better. Now you can see me. What? Aww. I see you real clearly. Yeah, because you have your glasses on. <laughs> day 10. We are on day 10. I'm doing a quick uh, tarot reading for myself. Moonology. I'm gonna go from the top. Just doing three cards. It's time to release negative energy. That's accurate. You and your loved ones are safe. Bring love into the situation. Holy Atlanta. All right. Let me find what they mean. Today is a relaxing day. We're kind of just cleaning up the house a bit before her uh, parents come down. All right, this says, if you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all of your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has a totally different meaning. Uh, this says, attune to the moon. Emote. It's all out better than in. It's time to move from the living fearfully to living joyfully. You're right to have your suspicions. Grudges are toxic. Let something go. The end of an argument. Moving on. I know a few cancers. Your loved ones are safe. There's a new start coming in your private life. Something is rising up in connection with the people and places you hold dearest. This can be to do with a member of your family, a flatmate, or a moving house. If you're hoping to move forward with something special in your private life, this card comes to you as a message that you can do it. If you've been neglecting your family, it's time to reconnect with them. If you've been neglecting yourself, you need to take better care of yourself and nurture yourself more. If your insecurity is holding you back, that's something for you to work on now. Doing so could bring you your heart's desire. And then it says, attune to the moon. Make sure you put your family first. Additional messages are, let something get a bit closer to you. A new cycle is starting for your child or children. It's time to review your goals. Have they changed? Meditation will help you banish your insecurities. And spending time near water will bring you peace and answers. Megan! Beach! We gotta go to the beach! This one says, bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Aquarius is all about progress. This is its time to move forward. Uh, the new moon Aquarius card means no looking back. Change is on its way. And it could come quickly. Whether you get the change you want depends both on whether you believe you can have it and how much you're relying on others to bring it to you. This card comes to you with the suggestion that you may need to do things independently or on your own. But be loving, not too pragmatic. Time may be of the essence when this card comes up. Aquarius energy has an electric feel to it. Certainly there's a sense that you need to let go of the past and move forward, move towards your future as soon as possible. Attune to the moon says explore the idea that it's not what you know, but whom you know. Connections, people. Connections. Then it says you need to be more detached from the situation. Thinking outside the box will bring the solution. More pragmatism is called for. Improve your karma by doing some charitable work. Hmm. That's cool. All right, guys. We're going to do our calendars for day 10. Stay tuned. Put this away. By the way, I got this at uh, TJ Maxx. If you guys want that. You can also probably find them on Amazon.
This is a box of like, and this is that. Cool. What do you think it's gonna be? It's gonna be a silver one. It's gonna be one of these guys silver. down here. Silver and gold. Because if you look, it's day 10 and there's like, we're halfway through almost. So the chances are, I only got one silver. There's three silver ones left in the box. All right, let me let me think of my brain for a second. There's day 10 at the bottom. Let's do hers first. It's a red one. These are like repeat colors. Hang on, Minnie, I'm having issues. Sit for it. Sit, man. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Here you go. Yum yums. Yay! Look, bridge pants. All right, did you do your chocolate one? Oh, no, I didn't. Ah, uh, day 10. Play ball. Trying to get it out without breaking it. There we go. Okay. So what do you use this time? Hold on. It's the it's the one that transforms up from Evie. I forget this one's name. But it's dope. Suba! There you have it, guys. Day 10, guys. We are 15 days away from Christmas. Before her uh, parents come in three days. Three. Look, she got her naughty or nice cup. Get on the couch, baby. Uppy. Like this is making Christmas go quicker, bro. Come on, this shit. Up. Get a girl. Hi. I love you, Minnie. I think I'm better mm. off alone. I love my mins. Yes, I do. Hey. Guys, we just got done lunch at Fishy Fish. Fishy Fishy. Fishy Fishy. Fishy Fishy. What did you have? What's up, guys? I had the tuna sandwich blackened. It was wonderful. I had fried shrimp platter. It was good. Now we're driving by in South Fort, North Carolina, North Kakalaki. Get that? North Kakalaki. North Kakalaki. Look at this cool dude on a motorcycle. This is cool. Little town. And it's not that far from our house. Look, they got a smiley face. Hmm. This is a cute store too, Rebecca's. Oh guys, there was also this really cute house that we drove by. It was a blue house that was for sale. And I looked it up online and the price was like ridiculous. This town is very, very expensive. It was $926,000. For a little house. Like what? All of three bedrooms probably or two. Yeah. That's crazy. 